Hello folks, hi guys, and if you're watching this video, this means you're still alive, correct? And be thankful that you're still alive this time, and subscribe to my channel, and everything will be alright, and everything will do it just fine if you subscribe my channel to avail new videos that I will make coming soon. Hit the notification bell. To be updated. Okay? I'm gonna show you how or why we are called the OFW in abroad. Masarap daw yung buhay, mayaman daw kami. That's what they're thinking for uh, in for in us. But this time, I will. Or me, I, I, I'm sad. I will, I will say, I, ano ko, I unbox. I will unbox the truth about, uh, the truth. If totoo bang masaya or maganda or rich kami as an if or if W working abroad, okay? Start from where I stay in Abu Dhabi. So this is our room. Yeah, it's one. You know how how much is this room? So I will tell you when I go inside. Come inside. Yeah. This is right inside my my room. Yeah. So I will show you the things inside. So ito yung ano? This is the double deck. And we have a small refrigerators and this is the place where I stay so if you're watching my video some uh, my channel for those who subscribe me my subscribers so this is my bed uh, <laughs> yeah this is my bed so so messy so my things in here there the, my guitar we have clothes the hanging nagsasampay dahil uh, we have some stuff in here stuffs yeah. so this is life in abroad what do you think it's okay to live in here or the life here is uh, abundant we are so grateful that you're still living in our country you can do whatever you want so I hope in this video you think how life really works if you go if you work in a boat yung buong kwarto namin so I, I'm gonna tell you how much is this the cost of isang kwarto so in Philippine money it costs around 20,000 small room only see it's all cute but it's worth 20,000 pesos if you have 20,000 pesos you you can rent uh, I think parang in a subdivision subdivision in the Philippines or yeah residences in the condominium like that but in here so so messy so it's what we do in here because we have full thi we have a lot of things uh, so sa ibang room sa ibang mga kwarto i don't know if uh, what what is their there's the organized but in here we're, we're all boys living in here so pag mga boys ang nakatira sa isang kwarto ano yan makalat yan Yung iba kasi papadala pa. Yeah, but no, I mean, tulog lang. Yo, it's okay na. Diba? So, don't be jealous, guys. If you saw this. So, if you saw this video, don't be jealous. Be thankful that you're in the Philippines. And, maybe you're thinking our salary is high. Yeah, malalaki yan. I say, si, si kuya. If you're watching my video, uh, I have hit up. Uh, necklace ako, gold. O, oh, may, may ano pa ako. May gold pa kung to. Yeah, my gold pa yan. My gold pa yan, pero ano na yan, taken. 
Ah, ito, may may watch pa ako. Oh. So, ah, si Kuya ba? Ano 'yan? Magandang buhay 'yan kasi ah, bro, do, nakabili ng ganun. No, it's not what you think. As a brief history, uh, I've been working here uh, almost seven years. Yeah, it's almost seven years. And I acquired this fancy, what's it called? Because I have a dream. I plan it that maybe someday I can have this. Because as, a, 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 as in our childhood, you know, Pag may mga umuwi sa atin sa Pinas, galing abroad, we saw them, wow, lalaki ng mga hikaw, lalaki ng mga babae, lalaki ng hikaw, uh, yung necklace, ang, ang kakapal, tapos yung sing-sing nila, tigdadalawa, tatlo, oh. parang mapaganon ka, oh my god, I want to be an OFW, but it's not the truth. Some of No, we acquired this uh, through lending. Six years, almost seven years, we acquired this because pinag-iipunan-ipunan ko ito para makuha ko ito at ito, pati na rin ito. So, hindi big time, hindi one spent to acquire these things. It needs patience if you work in here. Because because if you don't have patience, you don't have determination, you don't have plan, everything will be ruined. Kasi, pag halimbawa, in here, in, in here sa abroad, ano, nandito lahat, everything is here. From fancy clothes, jewelries, cell phones, accessories like that. If you are fancy of those things, baka mawalan ka ng sahod. Maybe at the end of the month, you don't have salary to be collected from your employer or your uh, sa amo mo. Dahil you are fancy of those things. So it needs a proper plan. Proper budget of the salary that you have. Kasi hindi lahat ng pera ay madaling makita. As an OFW, oh, bihira lang yung may sideline. Iba yung, kaya nga, na, yung iba, kumikita nila sa OT nila, or nag cancel off sila, dahil gusto nilang kumita ng malaki. Kasi the salary here is not enough to sustain our family back way back home. Ganyan yun. And, The truth is, especially at the end of the month, you don't have the money to collect from your employer because nasa quincenas pa lang, 15 uh, of the month, kinokollect mo na yung sahod mo because our, no, our family from the Philippines is asking money to send money because they need it because they don't have money. Kasi the organa, expenses, expenses, I don't know what like that. That's a sad reality, correct? So think before going to abroad, and this is the reality in here. As I show you our uh, itong kwarto namin, it worth 20 million, 20,000 20, na. So hanapin mo ba yan? That's a sad reality, you know. So aside from that, You don't, you need also to have savings. Even though you work in abroad, you send money home, you need to have to save for your own. Not from, not lahat na sa family mo na ibibigay. Dahil baka one day, you're getting retired, you're getting old, or magkasakit ka, baka wala kang magamit. Dahil mismo yung employer mo, kung nagtatrabaho ka dito abroad, hindi libre yung pagpapagamot sa'yo. ba diba? May mga ganon. Or, dahil wala ka nang magamit, dahil pinahiram mo na sa kasama mo, or nanghiram ka, 
yung tubo dito malaki din. 10%, 12%. Okay lang, ganun. May marami nang papairan dito. Pero pagdating ng basawran, wala ka nang makukuha ng sahod. Nasanla na yung itiin mo, di ba? Or ito, nasanla na. Next na pag-uusapan natin, we're talking about is how safe you are when you're going back home. How safe you are if you're going back home. Are you uh, stable enough to stay home when you're going back home? The, the answer is in you. Do you have enough savings account in your bank account? Or do you have property that you built, that you acquire while you're still, it, uh, you're still abroad? That's the question. So for me, it's very important. So while working abroad, so although working abroad, uh, let's say the time flies fast because we're working hard, pag natin sa bahay, gabi na, or what, tulog na naman, kinabukasan, work na naman. So while we're doing that, it's better to have a safety savings when, you're, when we stay here. A safety, you have a stable bank account, Marami, may mga passbook ka rin sa iba't ibang mga uh, mga micro yung mga tawag dito yung mga co-op na may mga co-op naman ganun so it's better to save money early when you're planning to go abroad than never so it's better late than never pero itry natin kasi napakahalaga yan kasi we are not all the time we will stay in here dito tayo magtatrabaho hanggang sa pagtanda natin. So, I'm planning this, uh, next year I'm gonna go home kasi my wife is asking, she's asking na rin. And we have a project that I will unbox or reveal to you in my next video. And maybe you will be amazed how I acquire this, let's say, property while working abroad. Okay? So, dapat meron kang mga ganito. May safe bank account ka, may stable bank account. Hindi lang gastos ka ng gastos dito. Na, pag uwi mo sa Pinas, utang pa rin. Babalik ka na naman. Go in back. <laughs> Naglulukuhan lang tayo mga tol. Diba? So, Naglulukuhan lang tayo mga ate. Diba? So, what? Uh, sa nabasa ko lang. So, so while I'm reading, I, I stumbled upon this uh, this comments or idea of the author that if you're married, if, uh, kung married ka na, hindi mo na, ano, kailangan pang, uh, tawag dito, magporsige or what. No? Hindi mo na kailangan ipush o ibigay lahat sa parents mo yung income mo dito. Kasi yung parents mo, kung i- lagi natin iisipin to, hindi tayo makano, hindi tayo mag-grow. E lalo, lalo na may pamilya ka na. So, kung magkano lang yung sahod mo nito, hatiin mo pa. Baka may mga kapatid ka pang demanding. If you still have brothers and sisters who are still demanding. Ate, I want to buy watch. I want to buy. Because I saw, I want iPhone. You want iPhone? You don't have Ipon. Correct? So, that's that's a sad but true reality of being an RFW. So, like that. So, you need to secure your family first than your parents you need to secure your family per- first and yourself and yourself dapat meron ka rin sahod sa sarili mo aside sa sahod aside doon sa sahod na ibibigay mo sa family mo Ay, ang ibig kong sabihin na sahod dapat sahuran mo yung sarili mo how much you earn from here kuha ka ng ilang persyento bigay mo sa, lagay mo sa pocket mo or not knowing, ibindi mo iipaalam sa family mo. Lest pag-surprise yun pag-uwi mo doon sa Pinas. Hindi ba? Napakagandang ano yun. Napakagandang news yun pag naano nila. Those are. So this is my ideas and my proposition to you. So life here and abroad is not that easy, you know. Baka nakita niyo some of us 
uh, showing eating in Jollibee or Burger King or a fan- fancy restaurants. But that's not what you think that we are <laughs> living in luxury in here. Dahil gusto rin din namin because we wanted to be one day or one month to be to eat delicious food also. Right? So I will show you, for example, yan. So we acquire these things. Kasi preparation yan for emergency use. So although, at work, may mga stuff naman kami na nakukuha. I mean, I mean to say, may mga, may mga expired, expired naman na mga items. For example, this one, cheese, beef, like that. But cheese, this one. At least, nakakaano kami, nakakasave din. Diba? And kung sa fridge naman namin, everyday kasi, uh, I work in uh, the warehouse sa food and beverages. So, kung may mga manok na mga sample, so, nakapagpa-uwi, nag-uwi kami, pero approve, approve naman ng, ano, ng assistant managers. Yan. Yan, mga free lang yan. Yeah, we have bacon, we have ha- ham, yan. Itong hummus, wala na sila na siguro to. This chicken. Yeah, this one, this chicken. Wait ko lang kanina yan. Kasi bigay lang din ang ano. So, everyday, meron kami yan, kaya lumilipad na. Ayan. So, nakakasave na rin, hindi bibili. Pero, masarap pa rin pag nasa Pinas. So, remember this. Dapat mag-isip muna. So while you're still working abroad, think, 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 think to yourself. To ay baka 20 years. Uh, kasi uh, I'm a YouTuber. Doon sa isang kayo YouTube na nakita ko is uh, a lady explained that 9 years now, 20 years, wala pang naipundar dahil mm, mm, doon lang sa family niya o doon sa parents niya. Ay, oh my God. Ate, matanda ka na ba? parents pa rin na una mo. Although tayo mga Pilipino, hindi ko kayo masisisi. Hindi tayo masisisi. Now we're loving to our parents. But that is also the reason why bagsak tayo. I hope if you're watching this video, wake up, wake up, wake up. Don't be angry at me. Don't be mad at me because that is the reality. So, if you're watching this video, You know my contents. You know what I'm explaining all about. And and thank you for staying. To, and you know what to do. Thank you and have a good day.